Let's continue with our step number four. I have the bottom floor completely finished. That was done in step number one, two, and three. I now have buttons number one, two, and three on my front face matching to button five. And I have rotated my upper face clockwise or counterclockwise until I have a button number eight matching as well. The top part or the top sticker of my two-sided edge piece is what's important. It matches to the left side, to the, to the centerpiece on my left side. Therefore, I will be taking my edge piece that is now in position number eight and dropping it to the left of the centerpiece, which would take it to number four. How do I do that? I've decided I'm going to start with the left because I'm dropping it to the left side. Left index finger is going to rotate the upper face counterclockwise. Then we're going to perform the left hand trigger. That means left counter clockwise, upper clockwise, left clockwise. I'm going to keep working with my front face. For the second half, I'm going to mirror the exact same movement. Index finger on the right hand is going to flick the upper face clockwise. My front face will get rotated clockwise, upper face counterclockwise, and right face counterclockwise. At this point, I have taken what was in position number eight, and I've moved it to position number four. My two-sided edge piece now is matching to the center piece on the front face and the second sticker on my edge piece on the second floor is now matching the center piece on the left face. At this point, I have on my front face buttons one, two, and three matching to numbers four and number five. Number five is the one that's going to dictate how we finish the face. We're very close in completing this side in that we will need another edge piece in position number six. There are only four edge pieces on the second floor that need to be solved. As soon as I solved for all four edge pieces on my second floor, I will have the entire two floors, two bottom floors completed on my cube. Good luck. And this is how you decide whether you need to take your upper edge piece to the left of the center or to the right of the center. I'll see you soon.